Is it time for you to take charge? I couldn't help it. All right, we're gonna look at a power combo tower, 35 watt charging station, that's a mouthful. So I don't look at these enough and I feel like these sort of utility devices are extremely important. And this one has gone a step farther than anything I have in my house. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. Now I wanna preface this by saying I'm not an electrician. This is not my field of expertise. There's been some new advancements in the last, I don't know, little while. And that's why I wanted to talk about this. Plus, this is a very unique device for a few different reasons. Now, first off, it's a 10 in one charging station. It's an interesting vertical tower design. So instead of having like a power strip on the floor, you've got this vertical tower that has plugs that face different directions. And on the front we have, and the back we have without the ground, we have another plug. And then we have four USB right here. And that's a little LCD screen, but this one is not just a little LCD screen. So a lot of people, when they see those, they're like, oh, it'll show like how much is left to charge. No, this is not a little battery bank that shows you how much is left to charge. This shows you the load status, it shows you your digital protection, and it shows you if you're grounded. So what does that mean? Well, first off, it'll show you just how many watts are going through this. And then next up, digital protection. So this has surge protection built in. It's 1200 joules. Now that's going to be enough for like all the little stuff you're plugging in, your phones, your laptops, uh, maybe a monitor or something. Not enough for like a big desktop system. So this is not going to replace like a giant surge protector for your thousand watt desktop. But for all the other stuff, screens, phones, controllers, charging up other batteries so that you can take them on the go, like this other Basius battery I'm going to talk about in just a second. And you have that soft white LED on the front that'll tell you, hey, everything's safe, you're protected. So the surge protection is, is ready to go. All right, now let's talk about the next thing that's something I don't have in my house, but now I do. Kind of gone crazy recently. I've like, I've got to replace all my old stuff with gallium nitride. Silicon, that's the old thing. Gallium nitride, that's the new thing. On their website, they have a, a really cool section that you can go and check out, and I recommend you do. We'll kind of touch on some of this, but it just talks about what is GAN technology. And this applies to their devices, but also other devices. So it's nice that they're providing this bit of science here. Now this is a synthetic element. So the, the main difference is, is that it can deliver more power and it can do so at lower temperature. That's the big difference. And that's really because we're kind of at the end of the road when it comes to silicon, we can't get much better. I recommend coming over and taking a look at this if you care. If you don't care and you you just want something that's like the newest latest greatest fastest then there you go that's all you need to know is it's the latest greatest fastest it'll it'll charge up the bestest all right all right so we've covered that now since this is a sophisticated fancy device it knows whenever there's an overload and within 0.1 second of an overload it shuts off now this has a huge thick cable this is like an eight gauge cable i can't believe how thick this is and that's just a sign in my opinion a sign of quality the plug that goes into the wall look at this thing <laughs> this thing is ready to strike i need to straighten it out it came all wound up so not only do we have a right angle with the plug see there like a right angle but the cord is coming out the side there and that's in case you want to plug it in and have room for other things around it they thought of that to make sure that you're able to maximize uh, your plugs so you can plug this in the top or the bottom or whatever let's talk a little bit about the usb that's on here so we've got two of the usb c and two of the usb type a now if we go back over to their website i want to show you this it'll intelligently split things up so if you just plug one thing and you can get up to 30 watts and that's going to be depending on a lot of things because did you know that usb c is not a standard for power delivery usb c is just a plug type so you can have various different types of, of USB-C when it comes to power delivery. Now, some phones and whatnot, they've got like quick charge three and quick charge 30 watts is plenty for that. Got my handy USB tester right here. And that is hooked up to my Sony Xperia phone. Just trying, this is the red port on the front there, 5.273 volts at 1.444 amps. Let's try the other USB. See what we got on that one. All right, this is the other port. Hello. The bottom line for me is that it went from 80% to 100% in about 18 minutes. So that's relatively speedy for, for my phone here. This is a Sony Xperia. Now, if you start plugging in more things, it starts to balance out the power. So as you can see, just one, you can get up to 30 watts there, except for on the, the second type A port, it gives you five watts. But then if you plug in two different things, you get this. And you can just look and see like, okay, if I plug in four things, here's what I get. I think it's safe to say that I'm sold on the, the gallium nitride and I'm being a replacement for silicon when it comes to just quick charging devices. It could be something that is used in lots of other areas, making smaller devices, faster charging devices, better batteries, better charging stations like this one that are also smarter and safer. The last thing I wanna talk about is the organizational element of all of this because I kind of have, have been using spider nests of cables and everything. And having this pillar design keeps everything in a central area, which I like. You can put your stuff around it and kind of set up your own little charging station. You can use this on your desk, which is one more thing I want to mention. Now on the bottom here, 
This cable is, is pretty heavy and it can kind of put a bit of a tug on the unit. I included something you can adhere to the bottom here. The way you can just put something on the bottom, set it on your desk, and just have it not go anywhere. A lot of this stuff will really work well with your Apple devices and IO, the new iOS devices, iPhone 13, 14, whatever it is. So a lot of that stuff will just plug in and just get your maximum charging capability. And that's also why I wanna talk about this unit for just a minute. Now, I don't have an iPhone and I wasn't able to get one to show it off, but this is, well, it's really cool if you have an iPhone and I'm kind of jealous about it, but this is a 30 watt, 10,000 milliamp hour fast charging unit that's magnetic. So if you have one of the new iOS devices, you just put it on here, plug it in, and then it, it sticks together. So you don't have to worry about it flopping around. Now, it's kind of cool because you do have an extra USB-C cable there, so you can plug up a couple things at the same time. But even with an Android device, it's lighting up my little lightning bolt right there. And you see right there? My little lightning bolt is lit up for the fast charging. So, and I, you know, this is this is really handy. It's a nice textured cable, it's sturdy. So, and it does show you the little LEDs there on the bottom to show you how much power you have left. And yeah, this 10,000 milliamp hour, that'll charge my phone a couple of times. Um, or I could plug it up and have it charge other things, whatever, I could charge two things at the same time. But this is really handy to have in your backpack. Plus it's, you see what how big it is right there against my phone. Now my phone's a small phone. I don't like the big six, six inch phones. Mine's like five point something inches. So mine, my phone is not that big. My phone is a tiny phone. It isn't like a regular phone. Yeah, that charger's cool and it's handy even though I've got Android. But, you know, if you've got an iOS device and you want that magnetic charging, well, you got it. It's right here. Otherwise, it'll work just fine with your other stuff. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is, like, they sent me the 35-watt unit, but they've got some bigger units. The 65-watt unit is kind of making me, like, be like, yes, I want that because there's a retractable USB cable on the bottom. So I'll put a link to, like, all their different tower charging stations. Anyway, let me know what you think of this Basius unit. How would you use this? Would it replace any of your stuff? And also, uh, did you know about all the gallium nitride stuff? Am I the only one who kind of, like, missed out on all of the new developments? Kind of spoiled me, and it's going to be hard to go back to, like, the regular just snake nest of cables and random things and you know all these usb plugs you're like which one is the one that does it fast like oh, no 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 it's gonna be hard to go back to that but anyway let me know what you think in the comments bye everybody